Hello there. Please come take a seat. Hi, my name's Sophie. I'm one of the doctors here at the clinic. How can I help? come for an ear exam. Good idea to keep getting your ears checked every couple of years, yeah. Can I just start by taking a few details off of you? Can I have your first name please? Yeah, your last name? Can I have your date of birth? Is that May? Can I have the first line of your address? Yep. Can I have the postcode? Yep. Can I have your phone number please? Do we have an emergency contact number? Yeah. And who is the person? Yeah. yeah. And what's the relationship to you? Just looking at it, yeah got the right person that's one thing for sure so tell me why you've come in okay right so you seem to be experiencing a little bit of hearing loss in one ear you would think right okay uh, which ear is it So you left the you think you've got a little bit of hearing loss. And has this got worse over the last six months? So it was two two months ago that it started, so two months ago. Any other problems with your hearing at all? No other problems. Have you had any ear infections in the last six months, twelve months? Mm, so you've had no infections, right? Sometimes when you're younger you can get uh, infections from colds, things like that. Um, you've not had any surgery to the ear at all? No surgery. No surgery. Um, is there any family history of hearing loss? Any diseases that might be... Uh, Making the hearing loss problem? No, not at all. So there's no family history, right? So based on that information, it may be you have got a bit of build up in that ear. Uh, I can't be sure, but it sounds like probably you've got an excess amount of wax that's built up. Now instead, um, what we're offering now is a treatment where we don't even use cotton buds. Um, our first point of call would be eardrops or an over-the-counter type thing where we use olive oil, uh, which is pretty easy. You just put two or three drops of olive oil in your ear uh, every, maybe every week, depending on how much earwax builds up over the week. Um, for some people it's more, for some people it's less, depending on if you've had anything done to the ear, anything like that. Yeah. So what I might do is look at both ears and then just do some testing to find out um, if it is the wax that might be causing it. If there's nothing I can find, I will refer you to ENT because it may be that we need some more info off of them.
so what I'll do is I'll look at each ear first and then what I'll do is do some little hearing tests on each side to see if there's if I can find any discrepancies in the amount of hearing then it can we can identify how much hearing you apologies about that someone was at the door um so what was I saying yeah so what we'll do is we'll do a little bit of testing on each ear we'll find out if there's any build up in that left ear have you had you haven't had any problems with your right ear have you So what I'll do is I'll just use this little otoscope and I'll look in both ears. So what I'm mainly looking for is any earwax build up or if there's any information in the eardrum, anything that might point towards the hearing loss because to me it's the obvious thing to me would be it's earwax. So we'll have a look. So looking at this rat, this ear yeah there's a bit of earwax built up yeah there's no signs that it's inflamed there's nothing to suggest it's inflamed uh it just looks like you've got an excess of built built up wax because we don't recommend using cotton buds because what you can actually do is you could do more you could put more earwax further down your ear and it's just not nice so let's have a look at the other ear this one is not too bad yeah there's a little bit of wax built up but it's nowhere near as bad as that ear what maybe the thing is you might have one of the glands that produces wax might be working a lot more than this one maybe you've had uh, an infection an unknown infection that's cleared up in that ear and it's just left an excess amount of wax to stop it being infected again so i think what probably is best to do is just now test your hearing with one of these one of these little handy dandy things so if you listen it vi it's got mini vibrations in it and it helps us to identify when um, you can no longer hear the sound so it provides us with a bit of um, yeah, so what I want to do is test this ear first. Tell me when it stops. Yeah. Do you see it? Hold on. Do I try again? Yeah, so between the two sides, was it easier to hear out their ear or a lot harder? A lot harder. Right. So, so what I'll do is go behind your ear and then I'm going to stop it tell me when you yeah yeah so that that side yeah I might have guessed um, so what it looks like is just that build up of wax yeah I think what might be worth doing is getting uh, a bottle of olive oil put in two or three drops into one of those drop droppers put it in the ear leave it to soak and then you might not be able to hear about that ear that well for a while while it soaks in but it will get better and this would be a continued treatment that you'd have to do at home um, it can take anywhere from a couple of days to a couple of weeks before 
it's back to normal your hearing but I don't see any signs that it's any types of inflammation or it's any signs of an infection so what I will do is leave a note saying that you're going to try it. how long do you want to try the olive oil for Far, four weeks okay so we'll try olive oil for four weeks if it's not any better do come back and see me and we'll try some ear drops because ear drops have certain chemicals that break down the wax which might be more effective than oil olive oil but we'll try this first um, we'll book a review for you in five weeks time this will allow your ear to rest after you've used the olive oil and see if it is working okay so i'll see you in five weeks okay see you bye bye